Loving yourself is an important part of mental and emotional health. It involves recognizing your own worth and value and treating yourself with kindness, compassion, and respect. Here are a few tips for how to love yourself. Treat yourself with kindness. Talk to yourself in a positive and supportive way and avoid being overly critical or self-destructive. Take care of your physical health. This includes getting enough sleep, eating well, and exercising regularly. Do things that make you happy. This can be anything from spending time with friends and family to pursuing a hobby or passion. Set boundaries. It's important to say no to things that don't align with your values and to take time for yourself when you need it. Forgive yourself. We all make mistakes and it's important to let go of negative feelings and move forward. By practicing these things on a regular basis, you can start to build a foundation of self-love and self-care that will serve you well in the long term. Forgiving yourself is an important part of the process of healing and moving forward after making a mistake or doing something that you regret. It involves letting go of feelings of blame, shame and self-criticism and learning to accept yourself and your actions with compassion and understanding. Here are a few steps that can help you forgive yourself, acknowledge what you did and how it affected yourself and others. This can be difficult, but it's an important step in the process of forgiveness. Accept that you made a mistake and that it's a natural part of being human. Nobody is perfect and everyone makes mistakes. Let go of blame and self-criticism. Instead of beating yourself up, try to focus on what you can learn from the situation and how you can do things differently in the future. Practice self-compassion. Treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer to a friend who had made a similar mistake. Take action to make things right, if possible. This may involve apologizing to someone you hurt or taking steps to correct the situation. By following these steps, you can start to forgive yourself and move forward with a more positive and self-compassionate outlook. Self-love and self-care are related but distinct concepts. Self-love is a feeling of deep-seated self-worth and self-acceptance, while self-care refers to the actions and practices that individuals engage in to take care of their physical, mental, and emotional health. Self-love involves recognizing your own worth and value and treating yourself with kindness, compassion, and respect. This can involve setting boundaries, forgiving yourself, and speaking to yourself in a positive and supportive way. Self-care, on the other hand, involves engaging in activities and practices that support your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. This can include things like getting enough sleep, eating well, exercising regularly, and taking time for yourself to relax and unmind. Both self-love and self-care are important for overall health and well-being. By practicing self-love and self-care on a regular basis, you can build a strong foundation of self-worth and self-care that will serve you well in the long term. Forgiveness is the act of letting go of negative feelings, such as resentment or anger towards someone who has done something that has hurt or wronged you. It is a conscious decision to release these negative feelings and to choose to move forward in a positive and healthy way. Forgiveness is not the same as condoning or excusing the behavior of the person who hurt you. It is not about forgetting what happened or pretending that it didn't matter. Instead, it is about acknowledging the hurt and pain that you have experienced and making a conscious decision to let go of the anger and resentment that is holding you back. Forgiveness can be difficult, but it is an important part of a healing process. It can help you to move forward in a positive and healthy way and to rebuild trust and relationships with the people around you. Self-criticism is the act of being overly critical or negative towards oneself. It involves focusing on your flaws, mistakes, and shortcomings and being harsh and judgmental towards yourself. Self-criticism is common but it can be harmful to your mental and emotional health. It can lead to low self-esteem, anxiety, depression, and other negative emotional states. It can also make it difficult to achieve your goals and to form positive and healthy relationships with others. If you struggle with self-criticism, there are steps you can take to improve your relationship with yourself. This can include practicing self-compassion, setting boundaries, and engaging in self-care activities that support your well-being.
It can also involve seeking support from friends, family, or a mental health professional. By taking these steps, you can begin to let go of self-criticism and build a more positive and healthy relationship with yourself. Compassion is the feeling of empathy and understanding towards someone who is suffering. It involves being able to see things from their perspective and to respond with kindness, understanding, and care. Compassion is an important part of being human and it is closely related to other positive qualities such as empathy, kindness, and generosity. It is a powerful force for good and can help to create positive and healthy relationships and to build a more compassionate and understanding world. There are many ways to cultivate compassion in your life. This can include practicing mindfulness and being more present in the moment, engaging in acts of kindness and generosity, and seeking to understand the perspectives of others. By practicing compassion on a regular basis, you can become a more caring, compassionate, and understanding person. Self-compassion is the practice of being kind, understanding, and caring towards oneself, especially in times of pain, failure, or struggle. It involves treating oneself with the same kindness, care, and understanding that one would offer to a friend who is struggling. Self-compassion is different from self-esteem, which involves feeling good about oneself and one's accomplishments. Instead, self-compassion involves acknowledging and accepting one's flaws, mistakes and limitations, and treating oneself with care and understanding. Self-compassion is an important part of mental and emotional health. It can help to reduce feelings of self-criticism, shame, and inadequacy and to build a more positive and healthy relationship with oneself. It can also improve overall well-being and make it easier to cope with the challenges and setbacks that are a natural part of life. By practicing self-compassion on a regular basis, you can learn to be kinder and more understanding towards yourself and to build a more positive and healthy relationship with yourself. Rebuilding trust and relationships after a betrayal or violation of trust can be a difficult and challenging process. It involves taking steps to repair the damage that has been done and to rebuild the trust and connection that was lost. Here are a few steps that can help to rebuild trust and relationships. Acknowledge what happened and take responsibility for your actions. This can be difficult but it is an important first step in the process of rebuilding trust. Communicate openly and honestly about what happened and about your feelings and needs. This can help to reduce misunderstandings and to create a shared understanding of a situation. Make amends and take action to make things right if possible. This can involve apologizing, making restitution, and taking steps to prevent the same thing from happening again in the future. Be patient and understanding. But building trust in relationships takes time and it is important to be patient and to give the other person space and time to heal and to trust again. By following these steps you can start to rebuild trust and relationships and to move forward in a positive and healthy way. It may not be easy but with patience, honesty, and effort it is possible to rebuild trust and create stronger, more positive relationships. A healthy relationship is one in which both partners feel happy, fulfilled, and supported. It is a relationship in which each person is able to be themselves and to communicate openly and honestly about their feelings and needs. There are many things that contribute to a healthy relationship. Some of the most important include communication. Being able to communicate openly and honesty with your partner is essential for a healthy relationship. This involves listening actively, expressing your needs and feelings, and being willing to compromise and work together to find solutions. Trust. Trust is the foundation of any healthy relationship. It involves being able to rely on your partner to be honest, reliable, and faithful. It also involves giving your partner the benefit of the doubt and being willing to forgive and move forward after a mistake or betrayal. Respect. Respect is essential for a healthy relationship. It involves treating your partner with kindness, consideration, and regard for their feelings and needs. It also involves respecting their boundaries and choices and being willing to compromise and negotiate. Support. A healthy relationship involves offering support to your partner and being there for them in times of need. This can involve listening to them, offering advice and encouragement, 
and helping them to achieve their goals. By focusing on these key elements, you can create and maintain a healthy, happy, and fulfilling relationship. Self-acceptance is the practice of accepting on self, laws, and all. It involves recognizing that everyone makes mistakes and that it is natural and normal to have flaws and limitations. Self-acceptance is an important part of mental and emotional health. It can help to reduce feelings of self-criticism and shame and to build a more positive and healthy relationship with oneself. It can also make it easier to cope with the challenges and setbacks that are a natural part of life. There are many ways to cultivate self-acceptance in your life. This can include practicing self-compassion, setting boundaries, and engaging in self-care activities that support your well-being. It can also involve seeking support from friends, family, or a mental health professional. By taking these steps, you can begin to accept yourself and your flaws and to build a more positive and healthy relationship with yourself. Physical, mental, and emotional health are all important aspects of overall health and well-being. Physical health refers to the body's ability to function properly and to maintain good health. This includes things like having enough energy, being free from illness and disease, and being able to engage in physical activities. Mental health refers to the state of one's emotional and psychological well-being. This includes things like having a positive outlook, being able to manage stress and emotions, and being able to think and reason clearly. Emotional health refers to the ability to understand, express, and manage one's emotions in a healthy and productive way. This includes being able to recognize and express one's emotions, and to cope with difficult or challenging emotions in a healthy and constructive way. All of these aspects of health are interconnected, and they all play a role in determining overall well-being. By focusing on physical, mental, and emotional health, you can create a strong foundation for overall health and well-being. Self-esteem is a person's overall evaluation of their own worth and value. It is a measure of how much they like, appreciate, and respect themselves. Self-esteem is an important part of mental and emotional health. People with high self-esteem tend to have a positive outlook, a strong sense of self-worth and healthy relationships with others. They are also more resilient and better able to cope with challenges and setbacks. On the other hand, people with low self-esteem may have a negative view of themselves and their abilities. They may be overly critical of themselves and may have difficulty forming healthy relationships with others. They may also be more susceptible to anxiety, depression, and other mental health issues. To improve self-esteem, it is important to focus on building a positive and healthy relationship with oneself. This can involve practicing self-compassion, setting boundaries, and engaging in activities that support physical, mental, and emotional health. By focusing on these things, you can begin to build a stronger sense of self-esteem and self-worth. Anxiety is a feeling of fear, worry, or unease, often in response to a perceived threat or danger. It is a normal and natural part of a human experience, and everyone feels anxious at times. However, when anxiety becomes intense, chronic, or overwhelming, it can interfere with daily life and well-being. It can cause physical symptoms such as rapid heart rate sweating and difficulty breathing and can lead to feelings of panic, fear, and helplessness. There are many things that can cause anxiety and it can affect people in different ways. Some common causes of anxiety include stress, trauma, genetics, and underlying medical conditions. To manage anxiety, it is important to identify and address the underlying causes. This can involve seeking support from friends, family, or a mental health professional and practicing self-care activities that support physical, mental, and emotional health. By taking these steps, you can learn to manage anxiety and to live a happier, healthier, and more fulfilling life.